This is one of the most unique homes I've ever seen. We are at 2301 Nicole, just off the uh, the north side of Cross Lake. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Doing better. All right. I saw this home online and I had to come out here and check it out. It's a part train car. Uh, it's on the back side. Did you see it when you were walking up? Yeah, I think I yeah I saw that. That's uh something else. Yeah. Yeah, it even has like the markings down there. Yeah, you know, the Kansas City, little... yeah. I was trying to find research on it, but it's hard to do. Just to, for the cool factor. I'm thinking, uh, did they just like donate Pacific, uh, what they call that train company? Is a uh, Southern Pacific or something like that? Kansas City Southern? Yeah, they just donated a container and just... The story on this is that when they when the gentleman bought the property, this yeah. was sitting back over here for some reason. Not really okay. sure why. And um, he raised it up and built the house around it. Wow. Because this, I mean, being on this side of the lake, if the lake ever gets really high, yeah. he didn't want it to get his house. <laughs> wow. So it's got the original door on this side. Okay. And the other side, they walled it up to put a mini split in there. Yeah. Um, just to kind of keep the weather neutral or the temperature neutral. Okay. Yeah. Walk inside and take a look then. Go ahead. This, this door's open. This one? may not have unlocked that one. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Is he uh, just leaving Shreveport or he just... Um... He just bought this as a fun house. And okay. He just hasn't been doing much fun out here is what he told Cause me. I, if I were him, I would Airbnb this place out. Well, I mean, we talked about it. Yeah, I mean, that would make some serious cash. Yeah, we talked about it. We were going to give it a few more months because it's lake season. If not, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you can see yeah, it's cool. up that door yeah. and put the mini split in here. Okay. And I, look at the fireplace. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Isn't my, that cool? Yeah, my grandparents had something like that in their house. Right? I love <laughs> it says caboose on it. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Wow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Cause like, these things are really heavy. Like it's amazing how they were able to have this like suspended in the air like this. You yeah, know? I'm sure it was a major undertaking. You can oh, tell yeah. by the steel beams underneath it. Yeah, There's yeah. A ton of those huge steel beams down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like pantry storage. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a cool kitchen. Yeah, he took the fridge out, but the fridge goes like right there. Okay. Yeah, these countertops are so pretty. I mean, everything's just so, um, like the country feel. Yeah. Like all the wood and everything. Okay. It's got a real fireplace there. Yeah. And then the upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. Because I've been to Galveston a couple of times and I see a lot of places like this down in Galveston. Mm -hmm. 
but I've been not here in Shreveport though. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it smells good in here. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Yeah, and the tankless um, meter is there on the wall. Okay. The water is a tankless heater. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, if this place doesn't sell in, you know, the time that y'all wanted to, yeah, the Airbnb, that would be a great idea. Yeah, it's in our pocket. We've uh, actually had someone reach out recently and want the long term rent it. And yeah. We, I don't know, we might do that. Okay. He wants to sell it, but you know, but if he, but if he doesn't, yeah. you know, he can do other things with it. Right. Look at the other underside of the. Yeah, I want to yeah, take a look at this for our left here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's just so unique. Yeah. How did they get it up there? Was it a crane or something? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, um, if I'm if I'm getting this right, this is all hearsay. But the neighbor next door, um, the husband is the one who did this. This was his little play thing. Okay. And um, the current owner knew him. Oh. Okay. And so yeah, so I've kind of heard like secondhand. Yeah, they had big cranes and raised it up, and, yeah. and then they had to construct everything else around it. Okay. So. Um, she said it's, you know, it never flooded, but the water does come up to like, yeah. where the well house is. And so he just didn't want to do all this and then something happened. So he raised it. I think it makes it cooler, honestly. Yeah, yeah it is. But the, the property stretches all the way out to the water right here? It does. Okay. So it's actually two different lots. So I don't know if you, when you were driving in, saw the second sign that I have off the county mat. Mm -hmm. So he, this owner bought that. It had a mobile home on it and he took the mobile home off and just kind of you know cleared it yeah and so all of it together is like just under three acres okay but it was like a just a little sliver yeah you know entry and then on the land over there and that land so it has not been combined mm -hmm. in case somebody wants to do something separate with it they yeah. can but it's got like a little sliver that goes all the way up to the water even okay like that land the way it's surveyed out right yeah now. right so okay yeah I mean, so it does it goes all the way now it's corps of engineers okay i don't know if you know about lake stuff but corps of engineers you know the lake they govern the part that touches the, the water mm -hmm. so like the stock like you have to get permission to do that because it touches the water and it's corps of engineers so yeah. i believe the actual property line it's just a few feet in front of the well house and goes across yeah. and the rest is Corps of Engineers. So if you decide to build anything or do a dock or anything like that, you've got to get authority, you've got to get permission from Cross Lake Authority to do okay. it. Because there's several different spots that you could do a launch or you yeah. could do, Okay. I think the far right <clears throat> over there has actually kind of got. Yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. Yeah, yep. I have a friend that lives out in the Highland neighborhood. And there's a lot of historic homes out there, and mm -hmm. he can't do stuff to his home without permission from the city. Yeah, it's kind of like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they govern everything that touches the water. Okay. And so they just don't ever want anybody to build a house so close that they can't do it. Right. And right. Do what they need to do with it, but it's also like a water control thing because as the lake fluctuates, yeah. You know, um, you don't want to be flooding people's homes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I see. Right along on the other side of that hill, there's like a little spot that goes in. I think that'd be a perfect launch. Yeah, right I think up so the too. Side, you could drive your boat and have your own launch. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that's, that's hard to find out here. Right. If you had like a little flat bottom metal, you could probably do that anyway. But like me, I've got a big pontoon. I'd probably have to like do something to make sure. I don't stick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you live on the lake and that, and you can do that, yeah. Shoot, that's that's um, priceless to be able to have that on your own land. You mm. see the boat back there fishing? Yeah, it's I see. Good, it's good fishing spot. Alma's propped my rod out here, and I was like, that wouldn't be very professional. <laughs> are you, are you fishing? Of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice property. He yeah. really loves it. He lives in Texas. Okay. And he spends a lot of time out here during the summers on the lake. 
and so um, this is like the third lake property he's owned and he's just not here as much anymore because he's always working so yeah, like, I yeah. guess I'll let it go but yeah if we don't sell it for what we need to then we'll, we'll put it on the Airbnb I manage Airbnbs so yeah. it would be an easy transition it's already furnished okay so, but he's ready to sell it I had somebody else that wanted it for an investment mm -hmm. and they wanted to put like cabin homes yeah. up, you know, and put more properties and NPC said no. So okay. there's lots of opportunities. Okay. Cool car you have. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, I bought that last year. <laughs> what is it? It's a uh, Honda CRZ. Uh, they made them for like four years. That's a 2011. That's the first year they stopped making them like around 2015. So they didn't make that many of them. That's really cool. So yeah, cool you don't see them on. Yeah, you don't see too many on the road. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> yep, yep. But yeah, I have a YouTube channel, so I'll feature this on my YouTube channel and uh, you know, to help out with the awesome. exposure and everything. Oh, yeah. uh, it's kind of small. It's not really all that big, but it's you know, it helps. You know. Hey, yeah, anything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anything yeah. And that's why I hold this open. I don't typically do open houses, but yeah. I've had so many people want to see this house and I'm just running, running, running. Right. I finally said, I'm going to open it up. Y'all yeah. come on out if y'all want to see it. Yeah, I was expecting like, cause you know, a, a few other cars out here when I pulled up. No, we're... So no matter what you do, open houses, they'll always show up the last 30 oh, minutes. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, about 345. They'll start pulling up. Yeah. <laughs> two o'clock. Didn't you see two o'clock on the... <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came out and got uh, to see it. Yeah, Appreciate I am too. It. Thank you. All right. All right. You too.